Because my argument all along has been that the purpose of the First Amendment is to protect the free exercise of the Christian religion. You know, one evidence that they were not dealing with, they weren't even intending to deal with non-Christian religions is what they did with Mormonism in the latter part of the 19th century. A Mormonism, is, they, they call themselves by the name of Christ, but it is not an Orthodox uh, Christian network of churches. It just is not. Mormonism is not an Orthodox Christian faith. It's just not. I mean, they have a different gospel. They have a completely different definition of who Christ is and so forth. I mean, the list could be multiplied uh, endlessly. Uh, and it was very clear that the Founding Fathers did not intend to, to preserve automatically religious liberty for non-Christian faith. So when Mormonism came along, they practiced polygamy. They believed in polygamy just like Muslims do today. It was, it was a part of their revealed religion. God had commanded uh, Joseph Smith to have multiple wives and commanded Joseph Smith to go tell your wife, Emma, look, you got to make room. Uh, I want my, my son Joseph to be able to have as many wives as he wants, so you're just going to have to accept it. So God is telling Emma through Joseph Smith, look, you're just going to have to live with this deal. So multiple wives uh, in the Mormon church until 1890 when the Mormon church told their folks to obey the law. The Mormon church, by the way, has never denounced the practice of polygamy. It has not. What it did in 1890, if you go back to the Doctrines and Covenants, what the Mormon church did is they advised, it wasn't even an order, they advised the members of the LDS church to obey the law, which said one man, one woman, period. Uh, so my guess is that if those that are trying to legalize polygamy and they are working on it right now you've got this one guy claims he's got three wives in utah he's got a high-powered lawyer going to court for him using exactly the same arguments that were used to get activist courts to impose same-sex marriage on the united states he's using exactly the same arguments to promote polygamy it's discrimination you can't tell people who to love you can't tell people who to marry you have no right to do that uh, and so he's using exactly the same arguments that were used to legitimize same-sex marriage so my guess is once that, if he's, if he's successful at that, if there is some activist court that says you've got to recognize polygamous marriages in your state, you're going, to start seeing, you're going to start seeing the LDS church, I believe, go back to the exercise of polygamy if it's legal because all they told their folks is obey the law. If the law says you can have multiple wives, I believe the LDS church will be out in the front of the pack. I mean, not everybody in the LDS church is going to do it any more than all the LD, members of the LDS church ever did it. I mean, it was a minority even in Joseph Smith's day. I mean, Brigham Young uh, set some kind of world record for a number of wives. I mean, he was up there in Muhammad territory, frankly. Uh, but most Mormons didn't do it. It was just a small percentage that had the resources to be able to do it. But I think it'll come back. Uh, it'll come back pretty vigorously in the Mormon church, again, because all the church fathers said in 1890, just obey the law. If the law says you can have multiple wives, they'll be back. 